The Sea Tigers was the naval wing of the Liberation Tigers of Tamil Elam during the Sri Lankan Civil War. It was founded in 1984. The Sea Tigers had a number of small but effective suicide bomber vessels. During its existence it had gained a reputation as a capable adversary for the Sri Lankan Navy. Over the years the Sea Tigers had sunk at least 29 Sri Lankan small inshore patrol boats and one freighter. The Sea Tigers were led by Susai, with their main base at Mullaritivu, on the northeastern coast of Sri Lanka and their last base was taken when the Sri Lanka Army captured Chalai in Mullaritivu in February 2009. Background. As the Tamil insurgency gained strength, the LTTE required that much of its supplies to be smuggled in by sea. It was soon realized that a naval component was needed to complement the land-based guerrilla forces. The leader of the LTTE, Velupalai Prabhakaran, understood the necessity of a naval force. The Sea Tigers were officially founded in 1984. As the Sea Tiger Cardas gained experience, it took on offensive operations against the Sri Lankan Navy. The leader, Admiral, of the Sea Tigers was said to be Susai. The strategic implementation and execution of Sea Tiger military tactics were guided by leading senior Cardas tacticians such as Lieutenant Commander, Sri Ram, Units. Boats light fiberglass boats were used for suicide bomber attacks. These boats could be up to 15 meters long and were usually equipped with four 250 HP outboard engines and a mixture of weaponry, light and heavy machine guns, 15 to 18 millimeters guns and grenade launches. The Sea Tiger attack vessels are only at sea during operations and training. When idle they are loaded on large trailers and hidden in the dense jungle southwest of Mullaitivu or even transported to the west coast if needed. They were also said to possess radar of aging stealth boats which are believed to be from North Korea. Ships the Sea Tigers also manned a number of larger merchant vessels used for smuggling equipment from neighboring countries. As there were no large ports under LTTE control, the supplies were loaded onto smaller vessels that could land directly on the beaches. From March 2003 to October 2007, the Sri Lankan Navy destroyed 10 of these vessels in the Indian Ocean, crippling the LTTE's supply line. Frogman Frogman also served with the Sea Tigers and were used in sinking at least one freighter at the Sri Lankan Navy base at Kankar Zanturai KKS. At the northern point of the Jaffna Peninsula, they were also involved in the sinking of a SLN supply ship in Trincomalee Harbour in May 2008. On 17 June 2006 on the coast near Colombo, two frogmen belonging to the Sea Tigers were captured by Sri Lanka's army while trying to bomb ships in Colombo port. News images showed that the frogmen were using rebreathers, probably a type with one oxygen cylinder across the belly. On capture, both tried to commit suicide using cyanide. Personnel The total personnel strength was between 2,000 minus 3,000 women and men. Women operated the boats on an equal footing as their male compatriots. However, the number of personnel may vary depending on operational needs. Local arms caches were hidden in the jungle close to villages. Major operations During several of the LTTE offensive campaigns the Sea Tigers landed troops to engage and distract Sri Lankan army units. The latest was when the LTTE attacked the Tamilila Makalvidadalai political faction in the east in 2004. The most significant use of combined operations was at the Second Battle of Elephant Pass in the spring of 2000, when some 2,500 carders were landed behind enemy lines. Previously, the largest such operation was the capture of Mullaitivu in 1996, the Sri Lanka army losing over 1,200 soldiers with all their equipment. The LTTE admitted that during that operation, the LTTE lost 330 personnel. Sea Tigers fast patrol boats and smaller suicide boats had engaged and sunk around 29 Sri Lanka Navy fast patrol boats. 
They also attacked the main SLN naval base in a suicide bomber vessel mission at Trincomale and damaged one of the two SLN catamarans used as troop transports. On October 20, 2006, the Sri Lankan Navy reported that it had sunk nine Sea Tigers boats. Ing damaged several others in a major skirmish which reportedly left 171 rebels dead. On November 1, 2008, a sea battle occurred between Sri Lankan Navy and Sea Tigers. During the initial attack at about 5.45 seven Black Sea Tigers died, while four LTTE attack craft were destroyed. Fourteen Tamil Tigers were killed and about as many others were reported injured. The Sea Tigers then intercepted a 20-vessel strong Sri Lankan Navy flotilla escorting a hovercraft that resulted in a heavy sea fight. According to pro-rebel sources, at about 700 after losing a Devora fast attack craft and the hovercraft the Lankan Navy was forced to withdraw, and had to tow a water jet naval craft that was severely damaged to the Kankesanthurai naval base. The battle followed reports that the Sri Lanka's Air Force had claimed to have bombed a base of the Sea Tiger Chief. Susayan captured a Sea Tiger base at Nashchikuda, along the northwestern seaboard. The Sri Lanka Army launched heavy artillery barrages across the northern front following the sea battle. The attack also followed a dual air Tiger air attack. Analysts' views of Sea Tigers Jane's International Defense Review, in a report on Sri Lanka, published a few years ago, pointed out that the Sea Tigers have taken on the Sri Lankan Navy with unprecedented success. A recent publication of the Woodrow Wilson School of Public and International Affairs for the Center for Strategic and International Studies reckons that they have destroyed 30% of Sri Lanka's Navy fiberglass small craft fleet. The Sea Tigers not relying on communications with their command on shore during ongoing operations was one factor in their success. The Sri Lankan Navy on the other hand was required to act in accordance with commanders on shore. Sea Tiger intelligence also played a key role in their operations, allowing for detailed and bold operations to be carried out in almost silent mode. The basis of Sea Tiger offensive operations could be described as sea control and keeping the SLN on their toes with their extensive sea denial tactics in the northern waters of Sri Lanka. Some analysts say the Sea Tigers have adopted the military theory of versatile maritime force. Sea Tiger operations could also be seen as a clear example of asymmetric warfare. Strategic Implications India India regarded the Sea Tigers as of nuisance in South Asian waters and the Indian Armed Forces and Tamil Nadu's state government had increased naval surveillance in the region. Though no clashes were reported between the Sea Tigers and Indian civil or military ships, Indian experts have suggested the government to neutralize it as the ongoing battle between the Tigers and Sri Lankan Navy has affected Indian fishing areas and shipping lanes. Sri Lanka The LTTE once controlled parts of the northern coastline of Sri Lanka. The Sri Lankan forces stationed in the Jaffna Peninsula were mainly supplied through naval convoys from Trincomale in the east. The Sea Tigers bases were well located for attacks on these shipments, and forces the SLN to keep a significant force of fast attack patrol boats on alert. Sea Tigers have also captured and seized the cargo of at least two Sri Lankan freighters. In many ways the Sea Tigers had adapted and challenged a larger and more modern navy. Due to their tactics being based on the understanding of SLN operations cycles, doctrine and reaction time, human rights abuses, sea piracy The Sea Tigers are accused of hijacking ships and boats of all sizes. The Sea Tigers has been accused of hijacking several vessels in waters outside Sri Lanka including the Irish Mona, Princess Wave, Athena, Miss N, Morong Bong, MB Cordiality and Princess Cash. When the LTTE captured the MV Cordiality near the port of Trincomalee, they killed all five Chinese crew members on board. 
the MV Sik Yang, a 2,818-ton Malaysian flag cargo ship which sailed from Tutikoran, India on May 25, 1999 was reported missing in waters near Sri Lanka. The ship with a cargo of bagged salt was due at the Malaysian port of Malacca on May 31. The fate of the ship's crew of 63 is unknown. It is suspected that the vessel was hijacked by the LTTE, the crew thrown overboard, and is now being used as a phantom vessel. A report published on June 30, 1999 confirmed that the vessel had been hijacked by the LTTE. In a notable incident since the signing of the ceasefire agreement in 2001, the crew of a Jordanian ship, MV Fara 3 that ran aground near rebel-controlled territory off the island's coast, accused the Tamil Tigers of forcing them to abandon the vessel which was carrying 14,000 tons of Indian rice and risking their lives. The crew said that LTTE fired four times to force them out of the vessel after failing to explode it in chop pieces three days after. The skipper of the vessel said, first they tried to set up a bomb and explode the anchor cable and when it failed they ordered us to weigh anchor. He also said that the Tigers dismantled and removed all radio communication equipment and radar from the vessel. On May 1, 2007 Syed Suleiman, the chairman of the ship's owners, Salam International Trading Company gave an interview to the BBC Tamil service saying, we hear from the parties who are concerned with the ship, the insurance company, etc., that everything that could be taken, like the rice, lights, generators, has been taken from the ship. The ship is now bare, demise. The Sea Tiger Force was annihilated during April 2009 attack by Sri Lanka Army and on May 18, 2009 the Sri Lankan government confirmed that Colonel Susai was killed when a rocket hit the armoured platted van he was travelling in, as a result of the military offensive that ended in May 2009. In the north of the country the Sri Lanka armed forces first recaptured all of the western seaboard that was once controlled by the LTTE thus depriving the Sea Tigers the bases it had in the west. On the eastern seaboard the LTTE has also lost all of its Sea Tigers bases and coastline it controlled including the headquarters of the Sea Tigers in the town of Mullaritivu. Although the Sea Tigers were initially able to put up stout resistance as several major sea engagements have occurred in the early months of 2009, with the Sea Tigers trying to penetrate the naval blockade maintained by the Sri Lanka Navy in the eastern seaboard, they have now been virtually eliminated as an organized naval force. On land the Sri Lanka army has been able to capture several Sea Tiger boats and a boat yard including several partially completed submersibles. In early February 2009, the military reported once again that it captured the last major Sea Tiger base killing three senior commanders in the process thus limiting Sea Tiger operational capabilities. As of 16 May 2009, the entire Sri Lankan coastline was captured by the Sri Lankan armed forces. Currently, the Sea Tigers are presumed to have been effectively and completely destroyed.